kind of shrugged your shoulders. Why did you do that? Cutting my shoulders? You asked me about, I don't know how to answer these questions. I don't really, a lot of this stuff you talk about, like, the questions you asking me, like, you, you, you discombobulated me up here. Yes, 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 yes. What do you remember telling Kel? Yes. So you told Kel yes? Yes, yes, yes. Let me ask you this. Are you just saying yes now to speed up your questioning? Most definitely. I know I ain't complete school, but I, I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you. I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. I think I said it loud and clear. So again, will you just answer the question and then we can move the process along? You keep asking. Okay. Yes. I don't recall any conversation with Detective Thorpe. I'm saying you can slow it down, but I'm going to keep asking you these questions. I don't recall. All right. I don't recall. All right. That's it. I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay. Can you explain to me what I don't recall mean? Don't it mean I don't remember, right? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the AV to the 7th Power YouTube channel, where we talk about all things law, true crime, and a little bit of debauchery. Today's update on the YSL trial is packed with fresh developments and some shocking moments you don't want to miss. Stay tuned as we dive into Judge Whitaker's surprising history, Brian Steele's bold move to remove key witness testimony, and the top five viral moments of Little Woody on the witness stand. This is an episode you don't want to miss. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you will never miss an update from our team on the YSL trial and all our breaking news. And before we go anywhere, please check out the sponsor of today's video, Aura. If you want to protect your data, your privacy, your credit, and stop robocalls, please check them out. You have a free 14-day trial using my code below. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about the new judge on the case, Judge Whitaker. Appointed last week, many are curious about her background, how she might have an influence on the trial's direction. Judge Paige Reese Whitaker, appointed in 2017, has served in the family division as a parental accountability court judge and on several key committees. Previously, she was a deputy district attorney and led the appellate vision in the Fulton County DA's office. With a strong background in criminal law. She handled murder appeals and complex post-conviction challenges. Judge Whitaker holds a JD from Duke University and is active in various legal and civic organizations. This week, Judge Whitaker has mandated that all parties must submit their motions, and she will be ruling on all pending motions next week on July 29th. The jury is set to come back on August 5th, so her decisions will play a crucial role in shaping the next phase of the trial. Additionally, the state has agreed to provide an updated exhibit list, ensuring all evidence is clearly documented and organized. Now, let's talk about Judge Whitaker's ruling data stats. You guys know I nerd out on this stuff, so this is something that we absolutely dug into. Overall, Judge Whitaker's motion grant rate is 52 percent, slightly lower than Fulton County's average of 54.7 percent. However, her grant rates for motion of summary judgment is 3.76% higher than Fulton County's average of 44.98% and also higher than the state's average of 42%. Notably, her grant rate for motions for summary judgment is 29.13% higher when the defendant is the moving party. What does that mean? It means that Judge Whitaker could call it down the middle. She is going to be fair, and uh, compared to other judges, she's slightly a little bit more open to motions of summary judgment. According to Black's Law Dictionary, a motion for summary judgment, also known as an accelerated judgment, is a quick court decision based on briefings and affidavits. It is a request for the court to issue a summary judgment on at least one claim, which allows the court to make a decision without a trial if the motion is granted. Why do we want to talk about this? Because Judge Whitaker has a bunch of motions coming her way this week. So it's really important to get an understanding of how she makes decisions decisions, how carefully she makes those decisions, is she going to deny some of these motions, things of the like. 
The other thing that Judge Whitaker did last week is she laid down the hammer. She has also set up several new housekeeping rules in response to observations from how the case was handled by the predecessor judge, Judge Glanville. These rules include no more food or snacking while court is in session, no more headphones for the defendants, maintaining professionalism from all counsel, avoiding time wasting, ensuring organization, and even slimming down the wardrobe choices for the defendants. But that's not all. As we unravel Judge Whitaker's history and these critical upcoming dates, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you think her past decisions will impact this trial significantly? Or will her no-nonsense approach benefit Young Thug and the defendants? Or could it lead to unexpected challenges to what we saw with Judge Glanville? It's just not wait till the last minute. I'm not waiting till the last minute, Your Honor. I am not anticipating. That we're about to... We're about to discuss a slideshow. Uh, focus, focus. We ain't got to that yet. All right, all right. Focus. I, Fo I'm focusing on your behavior at this point in time. I'm not saying. I'm not seen. saying to you that the that the information is not any less invalid, but it's the timing that's a problem. It's a problem, and since you I have, wouldn't think that we would be admitting these things, but since I've seen these things, these statements, these out-of-court statements being admitted, I've taken it upon myself. You, a couple weeks ago, you said to us, please flag things in advance. I took this that is to not in advance. I, this I is not in advance. This is this is like we got a jury sitting here. You all didn't get here at one o'clock. I told you to be here at twelve thirty. I've been here. I, I got. I got. I, I know Evan. you. Were, I know that you. You were here early, and I know why you were here early. Okay. So, but focus. The focus is on why are we not? Why didn't we file this stuff months ago? And let's wind it out and air it out at that point in time. Okay. So, I'm going to ask the state their their issue on this. Are you are you uh, are you cutting this out? Did you have discussions with Mr. Mr. Sharp? Got it. Madam. We, we did have discussions. When? That's too late. The evidence is excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude because I told you that this was going to happen. No, 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 no. We're excluding that. And I'm going to exclude the PowerPoint that you all submit. Well, you're not going to you're not going to wholesale introduce it. We had no intention. All right. If, call me back, and I would like but you to all should it. not be identifying this stuff the moment we, of trial while the jury's sitting in a box. Things, this is the last. The, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I am not gonna tolerate this any further. If you don't get together with your colleagues and flag issues and 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 resolve them promptly, and if I have to take them up, remember, I can exclude them. We'll work the weekends, or we'll do a combination of both. So this time, I'm gonna exclude. I'm gonna exclude. I'm going to exclude that those two sections. Your Honor, Mr. Um, Atkins, he confronted this witness with those sections. I last week let them know that we were introducing that. It's, if the exhibit's not ready and you haven't made and you he is ready. no, we well, he, Mr. Sharp's got objections to it. But Judge, Mr. Sharp can get in and have our evidence excluded every day that he makes an objection no. at midnight. And then it comes in and says, Well, then you all should, then you all should have gotten your stuff together That's before idea, then. Some of our juries, please. No, Some of our juries. Have a seat, madam. Have a seat. You better exclude that. And next time, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're prepared next time. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just not. Judge, we, we are starting right now. It's 120. Judge, so. We have talked to them. We have said we don't agree. Then file a motion and get it before me. And, and, we'll, and we'll take it up. Both of you, both both of you all, both of you all have equally responsibility to do that. Oh, it's going to be inadmissible right now. I am not going. I am not going to have any. I'm not going to have any more discussion about this, madam. I'm not. I don't. Well, you know what? Well, then that's. That, well, that's why we have to. I'm not punishing anybody, but you know, pr but prior preparation prevents poor performance. Be prepared, Judge. That's why I sent them what I sent them last week, a whole week and a half ago, two weeks. Your I'm Honor. not well. And I have asked, I have said, I would like to discuss 
Our jury's coming in, madam. Our jury's coming in. Have a seat. Now, on to a major development Brian Steele, Young Thug's lawyer, is making waves by pushing to have Little Woody's testimony removed from the case. This bold move could change everything. Brian Steele argues that Little Woody's testimony is unreliable and was obtained under questionable circumstances, as we saw from the secret meeting. He points to inconsistencies in Woody's statements and alleges that undue pressure was applied during questioning. If the judge sides with Steele, it could undermine the prosecution's case significantly. However, the prosecution maintains that Little Woody's testimony is crucial, painting a vivid picture of the alleged criminal activities within the YSL crew. This tug of war over key testimony could be a turning point in the trial. Clamp, sir. You allow another moment when Miss Love calls me that I did not do something. They have the exact image of what we got from the jail in Fayette County. That is it. And if I get another false allegation and you do nothing, I'm shocked. I'm appalled at you. I sit here day after day with this false allegation, just machine. I gave the state everything. There's not been no disconstruction. <laughs> There's been no purposeful, I don't care. I don't care. I give over everything. I've done this for 33 years. Never in my life have I seen a trial. I've done 300 appeals in the state of Georgia alone. I've never read a case like this. Judge, I gave them everything I had. Finally, let's lighten things up a bit with Little Woody's top five viral moments from the witness stand. From unexpected confessions to jaw-dropping reactions, these clips have taken the internet by storm. Let's relive those moments and see why everyone is talking about Little Woody. His candid responses and sometimes outrageous statements have not only provided critical insights, but also moments of sheer disbelief. Why did you destroy your shoulder? Cutting my shoulders. While y'all were in school, did y'all develop a friendship? Nope. Okay. At some point in time, did you ever develop a friendship with Shannon? Yeah. Okay. When was that? Uh... I don't know when, but at one point we became cool. Okay. And when you say cool, what do you mean? C-O-O-L. I didn't ask you to spell it. I asked you what you mean. So you say you don't remember telling him about what happened at the... But if he said that I told him that, I'm telling you right now, I told him that. So can you start asking me what I supposed to told Detective Thorpe? Because I'm telling you now, if he said that I said anything about anything, I'm telling you, more likely I probably did. Great. Well, I'm going to ask you about all the things that you talked to Detective Thorpe about. Now, Ms. Coleman, do you have a nickname? You're smiling. Do you have... Do you have ask me a question. Do you have a nickname? Yeah. What's your nickname? Psycho. Okay. Never met any of his family members? I never met none of his family members. Okay. What about any of his girlfriends? What you mean? Have you ever met any of the people he ever dated? I don't know how he's seen them, but I've seen him with girls. Okay. So you met some of the people that he may or may not have dated? I guess. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither in a little more detail <laughs> that you walked up and you tried to dap up Kel, but he did not grab your hand? I'm not walking up down nobody up. Now, do you recall tell do you recall <clears throat> independently that after Thug told Kel beef ain't over with until you pay for my window, you shot my window, that you told Kel what you told Kel? Yes. What do you remember telling Kel? Yes. So you told Kel, yes? Yes. So was that your Instagram account back in 2015? My Instagram account is Woody vs. Woody. I asked back in From back then, I think my Instagram account it's the same account as it is today. 
Who the verse would it? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I listen, I don't did so much time away from society. You ask me about something I, I don't know I don't know I don't know how to answer these questions. I don't really a lot of this stuff you talking about like I don't I've been through too much to be trying to remember certain stuff or the questions you asking me, like you, you, you discombobulated me up here. Like you want me to lie? You want me to tell the truth? One, I, I can't tell you the truth. If you sitting here, you want? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know how to answer these questions. You know what I mean, like I don't know what y'all got going on. Like for real. Like you asked me about 2015. What somebody said to the investigators. You know how I many investigators try to question me about this? Yes, and we're going to talk about fever or do you not remember. I told you already, I don't remember. You keep asking me. So if you don't remember, just say you do not remember. I object. Your Honor, I'll ask. I'll, I'll sustain the question. I'll sustain the written that you. Your Honor, then I'll ask. You can instruct Mr. Copeland if he does not remember, just to say he does not remember. Mr. Copeland, just answer the question to the best of your ability, okay? I thought I did, Judge. You're, you're, I told her I don't remember no conversation I had with. She trying to cross me up. She trying to say this and that when I I don't told her I don't I don't told the police anything they wanted to hear for them to. And she keep asking me over and over. You're gonna have to answer the question, sir. Okay. Do you see Shannon in the courtroom today? Well, I got a vision problem. Okay. I can't see that far. All right. So if you want to stand up and look around the courtroom. And tell look around the entire courtroom. Tell me if you see Shannon in the courtroom today. Do you need to sit down? No, nah, I can light here. They ain't having any drink. Okay, do you want some water? You gonna give me a drink? I'll get some water. I don't drink water. Well, I don't have nothing else for you. But I will put up some water up there for you. Who am I looking for? Shannon. <laughs> I think I see him. Okay. When you say you think you can have a seat. When you say you think you see him, what do you think he's wearing? Look like he wearing gray over there. So who are you pointing to over there that's wearing gray? I think the lady got red hair. Okay, so you pointing to a lady and not Shannon? No, the one behind her. Okay, so you're saying you believe that the person behind the lady with the red hair is Shannon? Is that what you're saying today? Well, it look like. Him. Okay, does anybody else over there look like Shannon? Yeah. Okay, who's the other person who looks like Shannon over there? He's standing behind the bald head dude right there. He's standing or he's sitting? I sitting down, I guess. Okay. What's his hairstyle? Bald head. So you're saying Shannon's the one with the bald head? Or he's sitting no, behind No, he's sitting him? behind the dude with the bald head. I think that's him. Okay. It's two people with dreads. I can't see. The, I just see dreads. Okay. That's it for today's update on the YSL trial. Judge Whitaker's track record, Brian Steele's daring legal maneuvers, and Little Woody's unforgettable moments, it's all happening right here. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for more updates, and we'll see you in the next video. Your continued support means the world to Team AV. We look forward to bringing you more comprehensive coverage of this riveting case. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye.